All right, so the first tip I gotta give you is so simple, it's right in front of you, and that is at address. So you're slicing the golf ball, your club face is wide open, everybody is telling you that. But the problem is, is you're trying to fix it in your downswing. That's not where the answer is. Today I'm gonna to show you the easy and simple way to fix that open club face and start hitting a nice high draw. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And by far the most common shot in golf that brings people to my lesson tee is the slice. And inevitably, they start immediately talking about their downswing and their open club face. And that's just not the problem. I'm gonna show you two things that you can look for today to help you do that. So let's dive right into it. First of all, what is an open club face? If you don't know, an open club face is when the club face is rotated, what we call open. So if I'm a right-handed golfer, it means the club face is pointed to the right. And when you do that, I'll go ahead and actually hit one here. You might recognize this swing because it maybe it's close to what you do. I'm gonna got the club face wide open. I make a good golf swing. Solid shot, relatively, but the ball's up and high and to the right. Now, what we want is we want a square club face, which looks something like this. Open, right, square. All right, so the first tip I gotta give you is so simple, it's right in front of you, and that is at address. Make sure that the club face at address, when you put it behind the golf ball, is square. You would not believe how many golfers come to my lesson tee and they say, Todd, I'm slicing the golf ball, and they set up to the golf ball, and the club face is laid way open. And I say, well, Jim or Bill, you know what, why don't you take the club face and you just square it up, all right? And what happens? They square it up, they make a swing, Okay, the ball flight comes down, it draws, and the lesson is over in 60 seconds, all right? So that's tip number one. When you get set up, make sure that the club face is squared. Matter of fact, if you're slicing it, it's okay to maybe even have it a little bit closed, all right? This fallacy that everything has to be perfectly square in your stance, and the club's gotta be perfectly on plane, and the club face's gotta be perfectly square, just isn't what I see when I go out on tour and work with tour professionals. Some of them have the face a little open, some a little closed, but for you, if you're a slicer, don't be afraid to set up and take the club face and close it down a little bit. Now, let's talk about something else that can help you you get that club face square when you want it at the moment of impact. And I gotta tell you this, if you haven't already, hey, be sure to join our family here at US Golf TV. We love hearing from you. And some of our best ideas, they come from you. And I love hearing from you, and I do my best to respond to every one of the comments. So, all right, the second tip I wanna give you on how to fix an open club face is in the takeaway. All right, so I'm gonna assume you got a square club face at address, we talked about that. In the takeaway, all right, when you swing that club back, you want to feel like I've got the Titleist, okay? It's one of my it's one of the best brands in golf. I got a Titleist glove on right here. When I take that away from the target and I start start the golf swing, I want to feel like that Titleist stays looking at you or at the camera. And when I do that, the down the line view, you'll notice that the club face is in a particular position. This is a square position. Most of you if you're slicing the golf ball, it could be because your takeaway you're rotating it open. Notice where the title of sweat went up towards the sky. So from this position, the club face is already open and it's back and behind me. And I didn't plan on talking about this, but I'm going to because it's important. When you rotate that club face open, obviously high right, but even worse is when that club drags inside like that and the swing gets super flat and around you, that is a killer for what I like to call my experienced golfers, my older golfers. Because when that swing gets low and around, you have no, no length to it, you have no power, you got nothing, you start going out and across the golf ball. Matter of fact, it's the main reason that we developed the vertical line swing, all right? Because that motion teaches more straight back and more up. And we've done a bunch of videos on that, you can check it out, it's some awesome stuff there. So, when you're set up and you take it back, get the titles, if anything, maybe even get it rotating down towards the ground a little bit. Let me go ahead and hit one here. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate it down. You can see what it looks like, here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, definitely more of a penetrating ball flight 
which is gonna give me a lot more distance and had a little bit of a baby draw. So when we're hitting golf shots and your buddies are telling you, hey, your club face is open and you're trying to fix your downswing, you're chasing your tail, you're looking in the wrong spot. Get the club face squared up at a dress, get it squared up as you start your takeaway. If you do those two things, that open club face will go away and more importantly, you'll start hitting some better golf shots.